here at the Richmond Dime Market. I am cosplaying Kessel. Conroe G. And I'm going to try and go without eyelash extensions for the first time in years. I think so far, like, better than like, looks. So, let's finish getting ready. At least, you know, I'll be kind of warm. Yeah, Vega is just contact lens. I wear a BB CC cream from Dr. Jart, and then I use lipstick for the eyelash, for the eyebrows, and my lips, and just basic uh, eyeliner, and I think it looks cute. I think I look very cute. What do you think? Leave a comment, let me know. Do you think I should have went with lashes like I did in my other videos? Or not can't remember where I got these contact lenses from, but you can get some really nice ones from Unixo. So that is where I would recommend getting them. And the cosplay is in my Amazon link tree bio, so you can check it out if you want to buy it. I'm actually getting warm. It's only been like a couple minutes to put on this piece. We haven't moved anywhere, so. One of the things you can do besides get really good food at the Richmond Night Market is do some shopping. They sell things like contact lenses, these really cute nail designs. I didn't buy any, but I really admired them. And so many other things. I wouldn't recommend buying anime there, but do. We are ordering our first food of the night. Barbecue skewers. One of our favorites, actually. We got four different barbecue skewer types, two grilled chicken, one beef, and a pork slice, and they were I all super skewers. delicious. Oh look, it's a beefy beef skewer. Yeah, it's We've been watching a lot of One Piece. Cat bus! Cuckoo! Here we are. This is Trav, we're swinging through this. It's very similar to walking through a con. Dongo. They did not have tricolor. Perfect, like in my cosplay, I forgot to wear the belt for Mitsuri Kamroji. You can still achieve your dreams and go and have fun in public. I faced one of my biggest fears this past weekend by dressing up and being in public, not around other cosplayers, not at any event, just for fun, just to go out there and embrace the character. And people liked it, and I wasn't a disturbance to public, I was just basically a normalish clothing with a wig and it was fine everything was fine as long as you're not really making a disturbance to the public and you're not causing a scene you're not breaking things no one's really going to care obviously if you have like a big armor build that's going to draw more attraction than something that looks more casual and it's more casual wear but that's okay you know just be respectful 
There are certain places that I will never be able to go in and film without an actual license because because of the areas that we live in, there are specific cities and parks and places that require you to pay a permit. And those range in costs. I'd love to shoot there someday, like some of the Japanese gardens, but right now that's not really profitable or worthwhile to me to spend money to take photos. I also want to recommend going to the night market with a big group of cosplay friends because you will be a disturbance in a way. Like there's really no place to take group photos there. It's busy. People just want to eat food and buy cute things. And if you're okay with that, yeah, you can have a great time and it's super worth it. But if you are trying to get like those fun group shots, it's not really going to work out. If you like this video, leave a like and comment and feel free to subscribe. Feel free to subscribe, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't. Would you want me to go to other cool events? Is there a city that you want me to visit or travel to and cosplay? There are some things that I really want to do and work on and with your support we can make it happen.